What if the fuel your gut prefers could also steady your glucose, reduce inflammation, and help you manage weight? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Today we're examining beauty rate, the short chain fatty acid your gut bacteria make when you ferment fiber, and how it supports your metabolism, your gut barrier, and your overall energy. I'm Ethan Foster. You'll hear how Beauty Rate improves insulin function, regulates glucose, and supports healthy body composition, and why your colon cells rely on it more than glucose. I'm Alara Skye. We'll also outline when boosting fiber helps, when it backfires, and a stepwise way to rebuild gut tolerance so you can actually benefit from Beauty Rate production. Butyrate stands out among short-chain fatty acids because research links it to better body weight and composition, improved lipid profiles, stronger insulin sensitivity, and steadier glycemia. It acts through gene pathways influenced by histone deacetylase inhibition and by activating free fatty acid receptors in tissues like intestine, adipose, muscle, liver, pancreatic islets, and blood vessels. Your colonocytes prefer butyrate as their main fuel. They bring it across the cell membrane by diffusion and active transport, shuttle it to mitochondria, and convert it via beta oxidation into acetyl-CoA to generate ATP. That single pathway can supply roughly 70% to 80% of their energy needs, far more than they tend to draw from glucose or glutamine. When your colonocytes oxidize butyrate efficiently, they also lower oxygen levels in the colon. That shift favors beneficial anaerobic microbes, reinforcing the environment that maintains a balanced microbiome and consistent short-chain fatty acid production. The gut barrier depends on tight junctions, a protective mucus layer, and antimicrobial peptides. Beauty Rate supports each of these. It upregulates tight junction proteins like TJP1, Claudin's, and occludin, while reducing Claudin2, which is associated with leakiness. It also activates AMPK to promote tight junction assembly, helping lower permeability. By fueling colonocytes and strengthening the barrier, beauty rate reduces gut-driven inflammation and immune activation. Disrupted barrier function is tied to gastrointestinal disorders and metabolic disease, so protecting that interface is central to metabolic health. Beauty rate also modulates immune responses. It encourages a shift toward regulatory and repair-oriented activity, supporting M2 macrophages and regulatory T cells, limiting neutrophil infiltration, and discouraging the growth of pathobionts. These effects collectively lower excessive inflammation. Beyond the gut, butyrate influences energy expenditure and appetite. Studies show it enhances fat oxidation in tissues like skeletal muscle, and brown adipose while reducing energy intake through gut-brain signaling. Meta-analyses associate butyrate exposure with improved fasting glucose and insulin, lower triglycerides, and resistance to diet-induced obesity, partly by improving mitochondrial function and even increasing mitochondrial numbers in skeletal muscle. That leads to a practical question. How do you make more butyrate? Fermenting fiber is the root, but there's an important caveat. If your gut is imbalanced, adding lots of fiber can worsen symptoms by feeding oxygen-tolerant, endotoxin-producing bacteria. In that situation, fiber can heighten inflammation and drain cellular energy. For compromised guts, start by stabilizing energy and lowering stress on the system. A short phase of sipping dextrose dissolved in water can deliver easily handled carbohydrate without fermentation stress. Keep this phase brief, about one to two weeks, while monitoring how you feel and avoiding big insulin spikes by sipping slowly. After that reset, transition to simple, well-tolerated whole food carbohydrates. Begin with ripe whole fruits and white rice. These provide carbs your system can use while your microbiome rebalances. With progress, you can expand variety. Most adults do well in the range of 200 to 250 grams of carbohydrate per day from unprocessed sources once gut function is stable. 
This intake supports metabolic flexibility and gives your colon bacteria enough raw material to generate short-chain fatty acids without overwhelming your system. You can track gut recovery with practical signs. Daily bowel movements, one to three, minimal bloating, comfortable digestion across a wide range of foods, steady energy, and good nutrient tolerance are indicators that you're ready for more fermentable fiber. When you're ready, prioritize fiber-rich whole foods, fruits like apples, berries, and bananas, and vegetables including leafy greens, broccoli, and carrots supply the substrate for bacterial fermentation into butyrate, acetate, and propionate. Increase slowly and observe how you feel. Other supportive carbohydrates include well-cooked white rice, sourdough bread, well-cooked peeled potatoes and sweet potatoes, fresh ripe fruits, and traditional masa harina products. These are generally easier to digest while you continue to strengthen the gut barrier. Lifestyle choices shape butyrate production as much as food. Chronic stress, smoking, excessive drinking, and overuse of antibiotics can erode beneficial bacteria and drop short-chain fatty acid output. Addressing these factors helps restore the environment your microbes need to produce butyrate consistently. Linoleic acid intake is another lever. Excess LA, common in ultra-processed foods and many vegetable oils, disrupts gut balance and can stress beneficial organisms that indirectly support butyrate production. Keeping LA low helps protect microbial harmony. A practical target is limiting linoleic acid to under 5 grams per day, with even better results when you keep it below 2 grams. This reduction is one of the most effective ways to support gut and metabolic function while you rebuild tolerance to fiber. As tolerance improves, continue to progress fiber gradually and watch appetite, energy stability, and digestion. The goal is a state where your daily food naturally feeds butyrate-producing bacteria. Your colonocytes have the fuel they prefer, and your barrier remains tight and responsive. Today's challenge is straightforward. Assess your gut status using the five indicators, regularity, minimal bloating, broad food tolerance, steady energy, and good absorption. If you're not there yet, spend one week stabilizing with simple carbohydrates like ripe fruit and white rice while lowering linoleic acid sources. If you are there, add one additional serving of a fiber-rich fruit or vegetable each day this week and track how you feel after meals. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.